Hello, students. So we are going to have uh, a sample problem for you to be able to have an in-depth uh, learning on your manufacturing. And we are going to start with um, the preparation of the cost of goods manufactured and sold. So if you are given a problem, what is the first thing that you have to do? In this particular case, we have the requirement. So that's the first thing that you have to do. Not know what is being required. And in this case, what is being required is the cost of goods manufactured. And how are you going to compute for the cost of goods manufactured? That to easily remember, you just have to um, always remember two. And what are those? You need to know the manufacturing cost. And after knowing the manufacturing cost, you have to look at the work in process inventory. Okay, so this is where your eyes should focus on. Okay, now. What comprises manufacturing costs? You have direct materials, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead or factory overhead. Okay? So we have to start with the direct materials. No, ito muna unahin natin, the direct materials. And your direct materials, syempre, ano pa ibang tawag sa direct materials? This will be your raw materials, no? Yan yung nakalagay. Normally, ang ginagamit dyan ay raw. Uh, sorry. Madalas ang ginagamit dyan ay... Uh, wait. Madalas ang ginagamit dyan, raw materials. Okay? So, kung ito yung ginagamit, uh, then... We will be uh, either raw materials or direct materials. They meant the same. Okay? Uh, Nagluloko yung pen ko class. Pasensya na. Uh, it's not writing continuously. And it's even... Uh, <laughs> oh, it erases what I have written. Okay. But anyway. So, let me start again. So, you have your cost of goods manufactured. We will start with manufacturing costs, okay? And what again uh, constitute our manufacturing costs? Direct material, which is also called raw materials. Then we have our direct labor, no? Uh, these are the salaries given to the personnel who work, no? In producing the goods and then your factory overhead or manufacturing overhead so let's determine how much is the raw materials or direct material so we start with how much Oy, naku, nagluloko talaga class. Yung aking pen. oh my god you have you have beginning inventory okay of I don't know why it's like this. Naglolo ko siya class. Oh my God. Sorry for that. Okay. Beginning inventory. And let's see. Asan yung mga beginning? In At the beginning of November. Okay. So the beginning inventory is November 1 of the raw materials. And how much is that? 48,500. We're going to look at, do we have any purchases? Yes, we have. If you take a look, we have your purchases were 70000 No, So, we're going to add purchases, which is 70000 You see, kusang nawawala yung sinulat natin. Oh my God. Mm. And do we have freight in? So, tingnan nyo kung meron kayong freight in. And what we have are just the fun of the, the inventory uh, costs and the manufacturing costs. So, we have here, this is your raw materials. 
or direct materials. Oh my God. Uh, these are the raw materials available. Okay? Nabubura talaga siya, class. Ay, nagluluko talaga yung ano ko, ba? Diba? Okay, so how much is the raw materials available? Okay, nag-add na kaya? Have you added already? We have 48 plus 70. Uh, that would be 500. And uh, kayo na mag-supply class ng information. Naglolo ko yung aking pen. My golly. This is... Uh, and after you know the raw materials available, ano yung i-did... I uh, ididedak natin dito. We're going to deduct the Okay? Didak na natin the raw materials inventory end. Okay? And how much is the raw materials inventory end? Okay? Pasensya na class, naglolo ko talaga siya. Oh my god. You have Take a look. 15,900. So, you have uh, 15,900. And this will be your raw materials used. Okay? So, uh, yung raw materials inventory natin at the end, that would be 30, 30 days ang November, di ba? So, this would be November 30. Oh, my uh, naglolo ko tong pen uh, raw materials for November 30 okay and so how much would that be your raw materials use that would be uh, wait this would be 118 500 118,500 you deduct 15,900 that would be 102,000 600 okay that would be your raw materials use then you just have to to add your direct material your to your direct material the direct labor which nakalagay dito eto oh, 22,000 diba so lagay natin 22,000 ano pa factory overhead oh magkano yung factory overhead natin Tingnan nyo, hanapin nyo sa problem. The factory overhead is, anong tawag nila dito? Total overhead cost, 216,850. Okay. You compute with me so that uh, you're, you are being practiced. You have, you have to compute with me. And this will be your manufacturing cost. Okay? O, oh, total nyo na. And the manufacturing cost is how much? Class, how much is the manufacturing cost? It is for 450 and we have uh, 341. Pag mali, oh, you just correct it. Okay, 341, 450. And then, anong sabi natin? We need to look for the work in process inventory. We have 10,000 as the beginning and we have 6,050 for uh, the ending. So, we have add your work in process beginning. What are you going to get after you compute for your work in process beginning class? O, tumama kayo? Ano, ano, ano ang nakuha ninyo? It will be cost of goods place in process. Okay? And, and how much is the total of the cost of goods place in process? Meron na kayong figure? Oh, meron na, meron na. You have plus 10,000. O di magiging 
351, sorry, 351,450. No, okay, and yung inyong cost of goods placed in process, now you have to deduct the work in process end. Okay? So, i-deduct niyo yung work in process end. Magkano ngayon yung na-compute niyo? Okay? That will be your cost of goods manufactured. Okay? Naglolo ko up class yung ano kay pen. No? So, we have your work in process end is 6,050. So, magkano ngayon yung ano natin? A cost of goods manufactured. Na compute nyo na? O, oh, ilan? 345,400 pesos. Okay? Ano yung sumunod na pinakompute sa inyo? The cost of goods sold. O, nagamit na natin. Ilan yung... Ilan na yung, sa natin makikita yung mga inventory sa statement of financial possession. Diba? Doon yung makikita yung mga inventory. Yung inyong sa raw materials, sa work in process, at saka sa finished goods. No? Doon yan nakikita sa statement of financial possession. No? For your, your beginning inventory is for November One is the ending inventory as of October 31st, no, of the same period. Okay, so what would be our uh, cost of goods sold? So your cost of goods sold will now be equal to cost of goods manufactured at the dock your finished goods inventory. Diba? So we have already the figure of the cost of goods manufactured. And how much is our cost of goods manufactured na? Oh, dictate nyo. 345,400. Tapos, we're going to add the finished goods beginning. And that would be November 1. Balikan natin problem. How much yung finished goods beginning nyo? You have 10,075. No? So, tandaan nyo yung finished goods end. 8,475. O, yun. So, yung uh, ating beginning finished goods, magkano na? O, dictate. 10,075. O, magkano? Anong tawag dito? Sige nga. Anong tawag? Cost of goods available for sale. Diba? Diba? Oh, magkano ngayon yung cost of goods available for sale nyo? 355,475. And, o, oh, dididak na natin ngayon yung finished goods end. Anong date nito? Ano nang date? November 30, yun ang nakalagay. Magkano na? Can you remember our finished goods end? Magkano? 8,000? 475. So, what is the cost of goods sold now? <coughs> Your final answer should always have a double rule, no? a double line. So, that would be 347,000 pesos or dollars. No? Kasi yun yung nakalagay sa problem. So, anong tatandaan natin? Ano yung, ano yung ating takeaway dito? We learned that the Manufacturing cost comprises, ano-ano? Oh, sige, recite nyo na. The manufacturing cost comprises of, as, as our um, uh, summary, no wrap up. We have, abang I'm trying my best na yung itong supanulat natin na <laughs> Gumana, sus! You have direct materials. What's the other term for direct materials? Raw materials. Uh, and then we have direct labor. 
And we have manufacturing overhead or factory overhead. That's your manufacturing cost. This is also called your um, product cost. Okay? And when you add the dock, your work in process, that's where you get the cost of goods manufactured. Okay? When you add the dock, the finished goods, that's where you get, what do we get? The cost of goods sold. Very good, very good. So, that's it for the problem. Two, two does five. We'll have another set of problem. Thank you. Thank you for, for uh, uh, computing with me. Keep safe. Have a good day. Thank you.